William de Morgan was the most important ceramic designer of the Victorian period. His father was Augustus de Morgan, who was first professor of mathematics at University College London. Sublime Symmetry takes a look at some of de Morgan's ceramic designs to reassess him not only as a fantastic designer, but also as a mathematician who'd inherited his father's great skill. De Morgan's designs are often arranged around a central line of symmetry, and that's true of Bedford Park Daisy. You can see that a vertical line could be drawn down the middle and each side will perfectly reflect the other. This ordering gives a certain clarity to the piece and it's been borrowed from medieval designs that often feature these flattened, stylized flower designs. The pattern in this design has been arranged so that it has to work over eight tiles to create one repeat of the pattern. If you look at the outer edges, you can see that the tulips have been halved so that the tile could be repeated horizontally as well as vertically as we see it. De Morgan has really considered the circular shape of this dish in his surface design for it. He's used a hexagonal construction to equally place each of the green leaves on the blue rim of the dish. This means that if the plate is rotated, the pattern follows exactly around, which really emphasises the circular shape. In his own time, William de Morgan was best known as an author of popular fiction, and today as a designer whose weird and wonderful animals wrap themselves around his ceramics. Sublime Symmetry really takes a second look at his ceramic designs, though, to reassess him as a designer with a great mathematical skill.